The Seattle Sounders beat the Houston Dynamo 1-0, and uh, they flip-flop in terms of when they came into this game, the Dynamo were ahead of the Sounders. They were fifth, the Sounders were sixth, and now they flip-flopped, and the Sounders are now fifth, and the Dynamo was sixth. Really important game uh, for the Sounders here. I think it showed a lot of true grit. They get that one, uh, the, the goal early, 22nd minute, and this goal, I mean, it was a team goal. And in regards to the Sounders high press, forced a, um, forced a turnover, and the Sounders quickly threw it in, and and then from there, three, four different passes went there. And then from there, Paul Rothrock was uh, opportunistic in the goal after Albert Rusnek took a shot, went off a defender, ball was right there. And so let's go into the postgame. For all intents and purposes, we need to get some consistency and you know make sure that the 11 players that I believe are the best, that they continue to grow together as a group. Say, and Paul has done a great job of understanding when he needs to run in behind, staying wide, creating the width on that side because he knew who's part of the three-two build, and he's smart enough to understand and execute those tactics, and that's kudos to him. Uh, it's a good team goal. Um, came out of a pressing moment. Um, Jordan and Albert combined, and Albert almost got a shot off, and then. You know, I was just being opportunistic in that moment and was able to get a shot as it kind of dropped back to me. It was the right place, right time, and um, good to get the goal when we got it, too. I think we were, you know, treading water a little bit, and, and that helped us get on top of the game a little bit more. We established more possession in the first half. Do you have something against Houston? I mean, you had goals against them. Uh, yeah. I like playing against Houston. I think, uh, you know, it helps when you have some of those games in your back pocket to, to think about and um, definitely the story in my head that uh, I had when I was going into the match was about how I like playing Houston and I've had fun with playing Houston and, you know, a couple people told me before the match that they thought I was going to get on the score sheet like Jackson and uh, Dave the parking guy and so I, I was keeping, keeping that in the back of my mind throughout the game and um, yeah, I was happy to get one. Hey, Christian, uh, Brian just talked about how the team grew into the game after the goal. And obviously that's the decision making and that's an improvement from the last game. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, it's another slow start uh, for us. Um, you know, luckily we didn't concede a goal. Um, uh, we, we struggled, I think, pressing wise. You know, they're a good team in possession. They're a good team uh, playing out of the back. Um, they make you commit numbers, and then all of a sudden, you know, one ball gets um, through our, our pressure, and, and they're in the attack. So uh, we struggled a little bit with that against Houston. You know, that's a, that's a really good team, um, and they were missing Herrera and uh, and Ponce. So um, you know, we were able to play a couple balls forward, and then the goal got us going. Right, we we were a little bit braver, come more confident. Uh, on the ball, uh, also pressing. We committed a couple more numbers, and that helped. Yeah, and, but the goal came off a pressure, right? Because yeah. it was a high press, and then high know, press to throw in, throw and then in. throw in the ball as fast as we can, right? We can't let this team um, get set. And I think, uh, you know, when we throw in the ball like that, and we're, we're playing forward, and we're the aggressor, uh, I think, uh, you know, we're a better team that way. So. Uh, Obviously, pressing is, is something that we need to we need to do against teams like Houston uh, because you know we're at home. We want to be the aggressor, um, and you know as a result, we, we ended up getting a goal. All right, yes. so there you go. You heard a little bit from Brian Smetzer. You heard from uh, Paul Rothrock about his goal, and also just from Christian Rodan. I mean, I think in terms of how important of a win was this for the Sounders psychologically, it was important in that they needed to. Uh, kind of get the bad taste out of their mouth from last, you know, when they played San Jose, they gave up the lead. And this one, this was about maturity. Brian talked about, hey, the team, you know, uh, grew into the game. Well, they did do that. And the way they were able to do that was the three blocks stayed compact and then they all played defensively. That is when they got the ball and made the passes, they made the good decision to 
should I pass it to that player over there? And then when that player got the ball, as opposed to may, maybe going forward, they made another pass to keep possession. So the long and short is that it was really they made good decision to keep them possession based now the counterpoint to that is that the sounders probably didn't go for it as much as they needed to and maybe uh that's just gonna have to come because really all week in practice uh paul rothrock talked about it is that they talked about you know how do you close out games how can you hold on to the possession of the ball and how do you make those passes which keep you possession and uh, as I said, close out the games, which is a really critical element of soccer. The ability to close out games, run out the other teams is what you need to do. You don't can't always win 3-0, you know, 2-0, but that ability to have a 1-0 lead bodes well for the Sounders who now have three more games in the regular season. So um, they go to Vancouver and then uh, they've got one more and they can bring Portland here to close out the regular season. So uh, the Cascadia Cup is still in play. And, uh, you know, the other thing is the Sounders announced today that they will host the first three games of the FIFA World Club, uh, Club Tournament. Uh, you know, I was happy. I think Brian was happy, but I'm happy for the fans because, again, it puts Seattle back on the map in terms of getting some of these international tournaments. I know the World Cup is coming, but, you know, this has always been a world-class just in terms of soccer city and getting the, you know these kind of tournaments just shows seattle puts seattle back in the map and it just bodes well to the community and the players so from the cascadia sports.net report i'm asvita mari